So, uh, yes, I'm originally from England, uh, from Essex, kind of just outside of London. Uh, but for the last uh, 10 or so years, I've been living in Belgium. I feel like I was quite lucky with uh, my teachers in like each stage of every school I went to. They were quite cool at letting me just be me. You know, they didn't really, like I'm not, uh, I'm, you know, I've gone through the system, you could say, but no one's ever really tried to mold me into anything else, which is, I feel very lucky. Definitely when I was younger, I was not, like I said, not as good of a teacher, I think, as I am now. Not that I'm the world's best, but just good. Uh, because back then I was more, it was more ego, you know? Like, actually, I would just do cool things and just think, okay, go ahead, do this, you know? And actually, that's not how a teacher works at all. You know, it's just because you can do cool stuff doesn't mean you know how to teach cool stuff. And so, over time, I start to, you know, just with maturity as well, you just start to understand, okay, I have to kind of put your ego aside and actually help people to, learn and uh, yeah now a lot of my approach I find is like progressions is understanding something that you already know how to do and just pushing it 10% towards a, a new idea and then tomorrow another 10% somewhere else and just kind of slowly evolving things into new ideas rather than just do this cool move that I can do you know. I always say that I don't really have like a, a solid technique or a, or a method or anything like that it's just a collection of ideas that I enjoy and things that I like to do. Um, but I, I, yeah, I like to come at it in a very like practical way. Like I, I suppose my, if I had to put like my philosophy in a nutshell, it would be just that I want to give people as much vocabulary as they can. Yeah, I just try to get people more comfortable with using the things that they don't often use, you know, so that they have more options. So my classes, are, are, I like to feel they're quite chilled in the way of uh, the vibe but you know they're very physical um yeah it, it just kind of allows people to experiment with with new things there's a lot of falling over there's a lot of you know not getting it today and working on it tomorrow i was quite lucky to get into a company quite young uh ultima vez wim van der Kavis, um when i was like 21 so i was really kind of surrounded by like a lot of very experienced dancers and and people that were uh, very like wiser than I understood them to be at the time. You know what I mean? Like it took me a while to realize, ah, actually, this guy's really good at what he does. You know? And I was luckily I was surrounded by quite a few of them. People like Wim, for one, he's really, um, you know, he's really good at what he does. You know, he he's weirdly good. Um, even people like Iñaki Aspilaga. Um, or Mate Mezaros, uh, these guys I find they they really influence me kind of like through osmosis, not by sitting me down and telling me this is how you do it, it's just by being around them a lot. Um, I just picked up a lot of their their ideas on things. A lot of it being, you know, even the vibe I set, like just being a casual thing, it's not too serious all the time. Um, you know, being able to have fun when you're being relaxed in a nice environment, you're, you're way more likely to try new things rather than stressed and stuff. I hope they they get a little bit annoyed that they didn't catch something, so that they keep working on something. Because I, I don't want them to just dance and be perfect for the week. I actually want them to, to get to the point where they they feel they're like one third or half the way up the ladder of a, of working out a new movement or a new idea or or like a, a kind of door has been opened to some new vocabulary that they can work on. Um, just because I feel like a workshop or even classes like this. Um, Part of it is, you know, keeping fit and keeping your technique up, but also part of it is an introduction to a new thing and you have to kind of be slightly uncomfortable. You know, if, you're, if you feel like you just nailed it the whole week, then you didn't really push yourself, I think. And that's also maybe me, like I didn't push them. You know, there is no end to dance, of course, you know, it's a, it's a medium, it's not a thing.